I'm Beth Crotter from the University of the Sunshine Coast. We're a new university, well we're relatively new, we're 15 years old. We've got a, we've got one of the highest groups of mature age students in Australia and we've also got a lot of end of career researchers. They want their data to survive and be shared but because they're retiring or planning on not being here they need they need their data to be managed or curated in some way. They're willing to give it, but they don't want to have any part in its future. Mm -hmm. He said when he started out working, he's a, a zoologist, when he started out working with his mammals, they would sit and count and they'd come up with numbers. Now they set cameras and take any photos and, and auditory um, information which creates an enormous amount of data. So it was really interesting that somebody who was a little bit disinterested in the data management project, with a bit of discussion, saw the enormous change, even in his profession, that his needs for data storage were, and recognised the impact that would have on the university systems as well. Mm -hmm. So hearing, hearing the changes that are happening means we're going to have to think about how we're going to respond to those changes. Okay. For this university, for us, for us in particular, it was important because it highlighted a lot of needs that the university wasn't addressing. It, it, one of the things it really highlighted was that nobody in the university, and I don't think we're alone in this, had taken responsibility for data management because everyone thought quite innocently that it was somebody else's responsibility and in fact it was nobody's res responsibility and we had the option of everybody grasping for it or everybody taking a step back and because we're small and because of the way our AINS project is happening we're in a position to have a look and see what will be some effective ways for the university to move forwards as well as talking to researchers, I'm, I'm talking to the people who manage what the researchers do. So the, We've just been really lucky that the ethics people are interested in our project as well. So once they were given something to do, they ran off and started looking for what other universities have, have done. So one of the things that this has revealed is significant points where there should have been data sets looked after, where it had just dissipated. Um, and they were government. They were government-funded things. Lots of money involved with mm. lost, lost data. It wouldn't have happened without ANS. Mm. It, it just, this would not have happened without ANS at all. Mm. Perfect. It was seventy-five thousand dollars. That's probably had a million dollars worth of impact on the university in the long term. That's my personal opinion, but I reckon that's pretty valid. Oh, mm. good.